in this lesson we'll go and see the solution for our assignment so let's go and see the first one was to create an enum so we have to create a two enum so we have already created two enum one is rd collection type and one is rd brand type so each enum has a three element one is man woman and child and another one was nike puma and adidas so this was an adidas has a spelling mistake this let me change the spelling okay let's save this all and let us move this to our enum over here so the first one is done so our enum is created and the second was to create a extended data type so one was name and size color and size So let's track this one over here, extended data type and size. So size need to be on the integer data type. So the second one is done. And we had to create a four table. One is man collection and inside the man collection, we have color, name, brand code and brand type and size, right? So this is our done and the next one is a woman's collection so let's go and see our woman collection and we have color name brand code and brand type and size so that is done and the next one was a child collection so we'll go inside and see we have color name brand code brand type size so that was done so our three table is done and one was to create the order table and inside the order table we have collection type customer mobile and name and a brand code so inside this table we had to create a relationship so the first one let's go to inside the relation and inside the relation we have the one with the rd child collection and the second one is rd men's collection and the third one is rd women's collection so inside this we have to create a relationship that is the order brand brand code is related to child collection brand code and order brand code from order table is related to rd men's collection brand code and the third one was the order brand code is related to women's collection rd brand code so our relation is all done over here so let's just move over this table over project and uh, another one was to create a form so inside we have created form and in the data source we had to add our data source rd order and all the field is over here so that was the solution and we have already done it and just move this one to our forms over here and so all our project assignment i think you hope you guys have already done and you are ready to proceed to our next lecture which we will be doing with our table relationship on a fixed field so let's go and see on, on our next lecture and i will see you in the next lecture till then have a great day